Today I'm going to show you how to print out mailing labels, especially if you are in the online software. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a browser and we're going to go to support.taxwise.com. If you're not already logged in, go ahead and select at the top right hand side, log in, put your credentials in. If you are already logged in like I am, just go ahead and select product updates. Once it brings you into the support site, select my information and then select reports. We're going to select the 2019 version. And then we're going to generate the client list. Once you generate it, go ahead and hit refresh so that it brings you up the Excel icon. You're going to be able to see all of your clients in here. And we're going to get rid of some of these columns so that way it doesn't interfere with printing it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this top one. And the only thing that we need to keep is the columns where the first name, last name, and address are. So we're going to delete the rest of the columns. And you can easily highlight it and then just right click it and delete it. Once everything is said and done, then come up here and go to File and Save. Or come over here to this little icon that can save it as well. So we're going to go back into the browser and we're going to go to avery.com. If you don't already have an account, you can go ahead and create an account. Once you create the account, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to where it says free templates and designs. And depending on which labels that you have, you can enter the product or the template number or you can come down here where it says address and shipping labels and it gives you a list of the template. And I'm going to select the 5160 because everybody normally just uses that one. So I'm going to start designing. And I'm going to go ahead and select this design. And on the left hand side where it says import data mail merge, I'm going to select that. I'm going to start the import merge. I'm going to browse for the file which is normally in your download. So I'm going to go ahead and double click it. And as you can tell that all of my columns are what I need them to be. So I'm going to go ahead and select next. And I'm going to drag from the left hand side to the right hand side how I want it to look like. And of course if you guys make a mistake like this you can easily use your little mouse come over here hit the delete button and it brings it over here and once you fixed it what you're going to do is you're going to hit next you're going to hit finish. This shows you a preview of what it's going to look like on the mailing label. So if you need to adjust it to make it more centered, then just select this. And I'm going to pull this down. And I'm going to pull this over to the right hand side. So that way it affects all of it because I've got it at it all. So if I'm satisfied with this, I'm going to go ahead and select preview and print. And then I'm going to select print it yourself because I already got the labels in the office. And then I'm going to select get PDF to print. And it's going to say we strongly recommend that you save it. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'm going to label it as mailing label 2019 so I know which year that I pulled it from. And I'm going to say save it to my account so that I have it. It's been saved. I'm going to hit OK. And then it's going to give me the option to open up the PDF. So here are my mailing labels. And then at the top right, I'm going to select the little printer icon. And I'm going to select the printer where I have the stock at. And then I'm going to go ahead and send it to the printer. And that's how you make mailing labels.